I have just had a militant feminist doggy style. Oh, life doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> Lipstick. All right, I mean, she was a growler, but I done it for Scotland. Uh, that's not what an ugly bird can do for you. Ask instead what you can do for an ugly bird. Right. I see. But I don't want another hackett dwarf on my CV, so you know, keep this to yourself, right? Eh? Oh, 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 you can depend on me. <laughs> Flacido Domingo. <laughs> Rob. Rob. It's all right, I don't want sex. Well, well, well. I'm worried about this Alba Clean deal. It's not turning out the way Ella and I thought it would. I wondered if maybe you would cast your eye over it for us. Oh, see, you want my help now, do you? After you stood there no saying a word, well, that, that tweed shop. Tartan skirted bam got tore right into me. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, gee, oh, you ain't fair now all of a sudden, do you? No way, lady. You made your scratcher matter, Harry. I way through and lying it. Aye, all right. <laughs> Hell of a low voice for a eunuch, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bloody gone. <laughs> good of you to see us at such short notice. We've just come hot foot from scouring out a council flat in Perry Lee following a bereavement. Aye. Lovely wee dog, Rusty. Refused to leave his master's side after he died of a stroke. Oh, what a shame. I hope he's being well looked after. Yes, he's with the angels now, since the grime team fired a bolt through his forehead. <laughs> All's well that ends well, then, eh? So, uh, have you had a chance to consider my offer? Oh, well, yes, that's just it. You see, we thought that you were offering us a job. We thought that, at long last, we would have security of employment. But it seems that you want to buy us out and make us redundant. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me clear that up for you. You see, we're a young company, but we value experience. In fact, we value it so much that we put it in a special box and keep it well outside the building. And that's where you'll be. In a special box, well outside the building. We call it the kennel for short. I think you'll like it there. What if we don't? Well, you know what they say, onwards and upwards. You could always join we Rusty in pet heaven. How does that sound? Woof, woof. <laughs> what did you get up to last night? Nothing, man. I was overwhelmed by depression. There's a clinical name for it. Lying in the couch with a box of celebrations. That's the one. I'm a martyr to it. Mm. Is that right? No. In fact, I was just telling Rab here that we were... Shh, shh. That's it. That's it. That's it. You've had your moment in the sun. Sorry, Rab. <laughs> yeah, about last night. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you know, when I... Hush a bye, compadre. <laughs> you mean you, you gave your what? You didn't tell them. Tell them what? Tell them what? Unlike you, I am discreet. What can I get you, Jamesy? Ah, just the usual. Jamesy. Hi. I'm all out of wee fat feminists. We'd a sexually ambivalent turnip day. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. McClure. Sit down. Oh, thanks very much. <clears throat> what can I do for you? Well, uh, you're in the cleaning business, so I thought uh, you might be able to clean that up for a start. I really don't see what the problem is. I cut your wife a sweetheart deal. No, you didn't. You called her a dug. 
You caught a growl of deal. <laughs> well, perhaps my manner was a tad brusque. Let me explain the figures to you. Don't bother. I've been in social security for 32 years. I'm practically a trained accountant. It's a straightforward contract. I simply absorb your wife's company, the house mice, into my own company, AlbaClean. Oh, aye, and take all her clients, will you? A client list she has worked bloody hard to build up. Yes, and in return, she gets an attractive package of shares based on target-driven incentives over the next three years. Oh, I've seen your, uh, I've seen your target-driven incentives. <laughs> Listen, my wife would have to clean lavies for here to Mumbai, and she'd still make mere money slipping her hand in the back of your living room couch at him. Well, I'm sorry that your wife will no longer be able to keep you in the manner to which you've become accustomed. However, there is a recession on. Oh, uh, oh, there is that. And don't bully and shyster bastards like you just love it. Let me show you the door. What well, for? I've seen doors before. <laughs> My house has got walls and ceilings and everything. All right, all right. Look, I'm, I'm sorry I shouldn't have called you names. I apologize. You know, there was a time when a Scots education was the finest in the world. And with the right political will, God willing, those days will return. Well, until that happy day dawns, and I stand before you with my Janet and John reader in one hand and my slate board and chalk in the other, May I leave you with another memento from Scotland's glorious past? And what would that be? Ooh! <laughs> Look, my manner wasn't too brusque for you. <sighs> Life was simpler in the old days, wasn't it? Nowadays, they'd probably make me wear a safety helmet before they let me nut somebody. <laughs> you know, was it Burns that said, life is an uphill gallop from the cradle to the grave? That's nice, Rob. That's nice. Not a wee footer with a woman for easing your depression and the <laughs> seasonal melancholy, is there? Oh, it's good to be caressed, doesn't it, Rob? Such as a vitamin, Mary. The emotional scurvy if we're denied it. <laughs> Don't stop. I need my five a day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jeremy Patchman said that Burns wrote Worthless Doggerel, which actually makes Jeremy and I brothers in affliction, doesn't it? Because I've got knackered knackers and he's obviously got ten years. <laughs> but don't you worry, Jeremy, don't you worry. There'll always be a very special place for you in Scotland. Oh, yes. When the recession's over, Paxo, and we're looking for a new great chieftain of the pardon race. <laughs> we'll be in touch, boy. I'll tell you, the job is yours. <laughs> Beat it! And Rab C. Nesbitt continues on Thursday at 10 to 11. Next tonight, stay with us for more from the Winter Olympics.